know, obviously we had a tough week last week, so um, we came back to practice this week, and we had some tough practices. We addressed some things that we felt like we needed to address, and so proud of my team, the way we bounced back tonight. You know, a 10-5 and five team coming into the game, a team that beat us by 30 last year. Um, so definitely we, we wanted this one for sure, but we wanted this one to get back on the right track uh, because we, we were all super upset about last week. We know that we're better than that. Um, but, you know, just, just did a really good job of what we wanted to do offensively, keeping the floor spread, 10 for 19 uh, from the three, making all our free throws. You know, if there's one thing to take away from it that we want to fix is the turnovers. That's uncharacteristic of us, um, but we'll, we'll fix that. Uh, but just really proud of my team for bouncing back today, being tough through the adversity that we faced last week and coming out with a big win today. What was the biggest difference you saw in your team tonight versus Saturday morning? I thought we were a lot tougher today. Uh, we defended the ball well. This is the lowest we've held somebody in a Sun Belt play in three years. Um, so we want to make that an emphasis for us, just guarding. And we know that when we guard, that leads to offense for us. Um, and I thought that that was a huge emphasis for us tonight. I thought we did a really good job boxing out, better than we did last week. Um, and it's not where we wanted to be, but it was better than last week. And we just we know that it's just going to be progress. Each week we want to get a little bit better. Um, and I feel like we got better tonight. Coach, your defense on Henson. Yeah, we knew coming in that, that she's a great player. You know, I watch, I try to watch full games on teams the night before just to, so I'm seeing them the night before and it helps me with my focus and things like that. But, you know, she's just a good player. She has really good touch from the three. She has really good touch, mid-range game, good touch around the rim. And, and we really made it tough for her tonight. Um, now, on the flip side, that Foster had an almost perfect game, you know, but we had to tweak some things with our defense and we did and, and we, we held her to, I think that was seven in the second half because she had 18 uh, the first half. So we made those adjustments we needed to make and we stopped her in the second half. So really proud of our team for just digging down and playing good defense tonight. Coach, it just feel like there was just something different about the defensive intensity tonight. It just really felt like it was a huge focal point and such a difference. And obviously that's something that's going to win championships. Yep. What, what was that difference? I like what you said. You know, I believe that defense wins championships. I believe that with all my heart and soul. I've been a part of six championships, and that's, what's, that's what won it, because that defense can lead to offense for you. Um, but the big thing is we addressed it in practice this week. We did a lot of rebounding drills. We did a lot of uh, defensive drills. Um, and, and we just knew we had to be better. We knew that, and, and honestly, our defense is OK. I felt like we had to get a little bit tougher as a whole. So we did a lot of toughness drills this week. It was tough, but kudos to them. They play a lot of minutes, and they embraced the really tough practices and we got better because of it. How happy were you just with the ball movement, you know, finding more ways to get Izzy Anna open? So happy. You know, I, I talked to Anna and I told Anna we need her to take more shots. You know, she's three for five from the three. I think that she's one of our top three-point shooters, so we got to find a way to get her some open shots. You know, Iz being at the PG some, it allows her to have the ball in her hands. I know that she's going to make good decisions, allows her to be aggressive. So when we have these two being aggressive and looking to score, it really helps us out offensively. Izzy and Anna, you know, it was already a, a solid performance, but in that third quarter, kind of just everything went right. Why were you guys able to, to lock in in that quarter and perform the way that you did? I think we knew as a team that we had more in us. Um, you know, we were up 10 at halftime, but um, we just, it didn't feel right because I told them, you know, we could be up by 20 right now if we were doing what we're supposed to do on defense and, you know, um, letting that carry over to offense. So I think we just, we focused on our defense and um, getting more rebounds and um, that's just really what carried over in the third quarter. Yeah, I agree with Izzy. Um, a lot of times when we do mess up and we still be up, it's one of those we got to keep the pedal on them and keep going. And I know as coach says that a lot. So it's because we're up 10 at the half is 0, zero So we had to put that in our minds and finish strong. It seemed like you were really aggressive offensively early in the game. Was it just the fact that you had the uh, openings right at the start, or kind of what led into that? Um, yeah, I think you know this this game was obviously different because the ball was I, I was put at the PG position from the start, um, <clears throat> and you know we we made some adjustments offensively this week in practice. So I think that the adjustments that were made were really good for us as a whole. And, um, you know, but my approach to the game, every game is the same, just focused on the assignment, which is winning, and just playing relaxed and take what the defense gives you. Izzy, how much of playing the point, it just, it feels like, not that you're not a confident player, but this seems like the most free that you've been. 
it feels like you're playing extremely free and confident. And like, to be honest, we all expect every shot to go in. It almost did, you gotta work on that. <laughs> but, but seriously, how much of that is, is running the point? How much of it is just getting more and more confident in your game? What is it? Yeah, I think, you know, ultimately just being confident. Um, I trust myself. I know my coaches trust me. My teammates trust me. So um, I know I can make the right decision either way, whether it's I'm open or my teammates open. I know I can find them. I know I trust that they knock down the shots too. Anna, for you, how do you just kind of embrace that challenge of you know shooting more? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, really, like Coach has said, we had a conversation about me getting more looks. And coming into the game, I knew that that was going to be my challenge, I guess you could say. So I accepted it. Knock down some shots. So. <laughs> yeah. Coach Ellie we talked about he's playing a lot, but this is like the third 30 point game she's had this year. Just, you know, just, just your thoughts on what you're seeing on a nightly basis. You know, it, you show up and you perform, but she, she scores her 30 points in practice. She scores her 30 points in the extra work that she puts in. And when you put that work in, the work will always pay off, you know. So, you know, hats off to Izzy, you know, hats off to Anna. They both put the work in, and, and it shows. When they when they come to play, um, but it just comes down to, I want my players to be free. Um, I want them to know that if they're open and, and they feel and they're feeling it, take the shot. You know, if if you're you hit a couple, let's let's get a heat check shot. You know, I'm, I'm that coach. You know, we she had hit two in a row. We ran a play right to her. You know, she she hits two. We'll run a play right to her. And I'm just telling them we need these two to be aggressive. When these two are aggressive and knocking down shots and you know being confident and free on offense, I think our team is a lot better. How much more dangerous can this team become? Because it feels like, you know, obviously, and again, the green light, that's a scoring option. Everybody already knows what that is, LA, et cetera. How much more dangerous can this team be when you've got these options and yep. teams have the game plan for more than just two, three days? I just don't think anybody has seen anything yet. I, I know that we have more in the tank. I know that we have, you know, more weapons in us offensively. You know, you look at, you know, Kendra, she was only one for two for not tonight. She could score the ball. Winner didn't score it. She could score it. L.A. can give us more. You know, Anna had 11. I think Anna can get anywhere from 15 to 18. Uh, Shy had eight and nine. I just think we got a lot of weapons, and, and we just got to continue to stay the course and trust the process and just try to get better game by game. But you want to try to play your best basketball leading into the conference tournament, of course, and, and that's our goal. You know, obviously you want to win it, but the goal is to try to, to finish in the top four so you can get that by. To have a performance like this, and still, you know, as a coach, I know you don't pick apart, but to have a performance like this and have 22 turnovers, mm -hmm. but still have a performance like this, what does that say about this? I got a really good team. And I don't care what happens. I don't care what happened last week. I believe in my team. I don't care what anybody says. This is my team. I love them, and I'm going to stick beside them. And we're going to go to work every single day. And I know that we're capable of doing really big things. I don't think that we're out of it. We're far from being out of it. This team is very, I mean, this league is very even this year. And so the teams there at the top, I think they'll drop some. And if we could just continue to win, I think that we'll catch up. We're far from being out of it. We just got to focus on the main thing and just go game by game and just continue to try to get better.